So we got a population, but it's growing with a carrying capacity of 5,000. Now this means that as the population grows, that it, it, that the environment that it's growing in can only sustain a population of 5,000, which means if the population is under 5,000, it can safely grow. But if the population were to get over 5,000, there wouldn't be enough food or resources, uh, for the population to survive. And so something interesting happens here. Now first off, whenever we're talking about populations growing, um, with a carrying capacity, we usually base it on sort of a percentage, uh, growth rate type model. So let's say, for example, uh, that, uh, we have some population that normally would grow with a growth rate of, let's say, 10%. So now here's the idea, is if we were to look at, at, uh, the population that currently exists and the growth rate, then the idea here is that if the population is very, very small, then the population is going to grow at about 10%, like a normal exponential population. But as the population increases, there's less resources available, and so this growth rate is gonna start decreasing. In fact, that, that, that growth rate's gonna decrease all the way down to zero when the population reaches that carrying capacity. In other words, when the population hits that carrying capacity, the environment's not gonna be able to sustain any growth, and the growth rate is going to decrease down to zero. Now, if the population were to grow even further, then our growth rate is going to go negative. In other words, the population would actually decrease because there wouldn't be enough food and resources to survive the pop, uh, you know, for the population to survive. And so if you notice, this, what we're going to call sort of the R adjusted, the adjusted growth rate, adjusted for the population, is decreasing like a line and it's decreasing with a starting value of 10%, and it's decreasing by 10% for every 5,000, uh, it times the, times the, whatever the population is. And so we end up with an adjusted growth rate, if we do a little bit of factoring out here, uh, if we factor out the 10% of 1 minus, Let's see here, if we factor out the 10%, this would be 1 over 5,000. I'm gonna put the P up on top, P over 5,000, and that is our adjusted growth rate. And so if we go back to our exponential growth model, remember recursively, it looked like 1 plus R to the, uh, times P n minus 1, or if we were to expand that out, it would be p r minus 1 plus r times p n minus 1, right, if we were to distribute that out. Uh, so now if we go ahead and take this and replace r in the equation with our adjusted growth rate, we get this, p n equals p n minus 1 plus our growth rate now is gonna be 0 0.10 times 1 minus p n minus 1. We're replacing the p here with p n minus 1 because that is the current population, right? So all of this was that r times p n minus 1. And so this becomes the model that we use when we have a carrying capacity. Now admittedly, this equation right here was based on this particular scenario, so let's see if we can generalize it. P n equals P n minus 1 plus, what was the 10%? The 10% was our normal growth rate times 1 minus P n minus 1 over this thing, which is our carrying capacity, which we're gonna represent with a k, times p n minus 1. So k is our carrying capacity, and r is the natural growth rate, absent interaction, and this is what's called the logistic model.